The NBA season is underway and even though we are only a few games into the new season, I don't think it is ever too early to start making playoff predictions. So in today's video, we'll be talking about my picks for this year's Western Conference playoffs. Let's get right into it. Starting off with the one seed, I have the Los Angeles Clippers. I think that even though we have only seen a couple games so far this season, you can already tell that this Clippers squad is going to be scary good. And especially in the regular season, I don't think a lot of teams can compete with them. They have too much defense with not only Kawhi Leonard, Patrick Beverly, and Montrez Harrell, but once Paul George come ba comes back healthy, this team is going to be absolutely scary on the defensive end. Now, not even just their defense is special though. Their offense is absolutely ridiculous too. Obviously, Kawhi is one of the best scorers despite being the best defender in the NBA. Paul George is an elite scorer as well. Lou Williams off the bench is an elite scorer. This team just has so many weapons and I don't see them losing a lot in this regular season. At the two seed, I have the Denver Nuggets. And the Denver Nuggets are one of those teams that is kind of pulling away from being a young, talented team. They are now becoming a more experienced squad. And I think that in last year's playoffs, we kind of saw that this team is more disciplined. Their younger players are becoming veterans. Their younger players are getting to play with each other better. This team has built chemistry over the past couple seasons, and I think that their record in this regular season will be great. With Nikola Jokic leading the way, with Jamal Murray, Gary Harris, Paul Millsap, the other weapons that they have, I think that the Denver Nuggets will win a lot of games this regular season. At number three, I have the Utah Jazz. And this is a team who hasn't looked good in the first couple games this season, but I think as time goes on, they will pick it up and they will start to look like a top three team in the West. Now, even though they have not played good so far, I think there's a simple explanation for this. Mike Conley, their star point guard that they added this off season has not been playing good at all. And I think that this is mainly due to the fact that he is brand new to this team. It's a different feel than Memphis was. It's the first team that he's been on in a long time. I'm not sure how long he played in Memphis, but this is a brand new system for Mike Conley. And I'm sure as the season goes on, Mike Conley will turn into the Mike Conley that we have expected, that we have seen in the past however many years. The good sign for the Utah Jazz is that Rudy Gobert and Donovan Mitchell, their two star players, have been playing great. Joe Ingles now coming off the bench, hasn't done as great and he was kind of their shooter guy, their, their hype man. But another new addition, Bojan Bogdanovic, has looked good so far. And I think that really the main issue with the Jazz so far is chemistry. So I think that as time goes on, they will start to win more games. At number four, I have the Los Angeles Lakers, and similar to the Utah Jazz, I think that they haven't looked amazing so far this season. They definitely haven't looked bad, even though in the first game a lot of people were disappointed with LeBron James' performance, which was against the Clippers. He did pick it up in the next game, and obviously, like I said, Similar to the Utah Jazz, this team is going through chemistry issues. A ton of new players added to this team. And like the Utah Jazz, I also think that this team, as time goes on, will begin to build chemistry and they will look a lot better come playoff time. I have them at the four seed, but I do not think they are the fourth best team in the Western Conference. I think that they are a top three team in the NBA, possibly even top two. And I think that the Lakers, similar to LeBron, they're just a playoff team. Every team that LeBron is on is a playoff team. He's a playoff player. And I think that we will see this even though I have them at the four seed. At number five, I have the Blazers. And this is a team who always seems to exceed expectations that people set for them. A lot of people count out the Blazers every year because they don't make any new additions while other teams are adding other stars. They remain with the same squad. But that is a little different this year because they did add another star player in Hassan Whiteside. And while Hassan Whiteside isn't a superstar, he was the star player of the Miami Heat. And even though in these first couple games he hasn't made a huge impact on the Blazers, again, similar to the other teams who have a lot of new additions, I think that as he finds his spot in this new system, the Blazers will have more success and so will he. 
Damian Lillard is going to do his thing. CJ McCollum is going to do his thing. If Hassan Whiteside can pick up on the new system and their role players can do their job, I see no problem with the Blazers being a top five seed in the Western Conference. At number six, I have the Rockets. And this is a team who in the first few games has surprised me. Because unlike some of these other teams, they haven't had the chemistry issues that I think a lot of people thought they would have. And even though they haven't looked perfect in these first couple games, the duo of Russell Westbrook and James Harden has looked pretty nice for them both being ball dominant guards. I don't think that their success will be amazing with these two, but I think that they can work well enough that they will make the playoffs, obviously. I have them at the sixth seed, and I think that they can actually have some success in the playoffs depending on who they play first round. So if they do end up playing the Blazers first round, I think it could be a good series. If they end up playing pretty much any team besides probably the Lakers and the Clippers, I think that they have a good chance of winning. I guess we'll just have to see as time goes on, as the chemistry continues to develop, how good the Rockets will be. At the 6th seed, I have the Rockets. At the 7th seed, I have the Warriors, and even though they have looked absolutely terrible in the first couple games they have played this season, losing by 30 plus to the Thunder, who lost both of their star players, Paul George and Russell Westbrook pretty embarrassing to be honest but again the issue with them is a common issue in this NBA where we see a ton of people moving teams it's chemistry and I think that as Steph Curry keeps doing his thing as he steps up and becomes a 30 point per game scorer if D'Lo can fit into the system how he's supposed to fit in as they get their players healthy Willie Cauley Stein their new big man has been out Kevon Looney hasn't been healthy. I think that as their guys start coming back healthy and as they build this chemistry, I think that the Warriors will still be a very good team and I think that they will make the playoffs. At the eighth and final seed, I have the San Antonio Spurs. And ever since Kawhi Leonard left, the Spurs just haven't really been that same top four seed in the West deep playoff run Spurs team that we have been used to. And it's really been ever since Tim Duncan retired. But I think that with the talent that they have, with some guys returning, with some new additions, I think that this team could be very good. And I think that even though I have them at the eighth seed, they could also possibly have some success in the playoffs. Now, if they do have to play the Clippers in the first round, I don't think they, that they will win. In fact, if they do make the eighth seed, I don't think that they will beat a first seed. But... If they get higher than my prediction, if they get a higher seed in the playoffs, I think that they could definitely make it to the second round. They have DeMar DeRozan, they have LaMarcus Aldridge, two players who are mid-range masters in an NBA where most people only shoot threes. These two are anomalies, and I think that they are two very talented players. They have been building their chemistry over the past couple seasons, and I think that we will only see success from them this season they have Dejounte Murray returning from an injury he sat out all of last season I think he's a very nice point guard they have Derek White who showed glimpses that he could be a star last season they just have a lot of players and I think that if all of their players play up to their full potential the Spurs could have a lot of success this season thanks for watching please leave your thoughts on my list whether or not you agree with it whether you think I left out a team that should have made it, whether you think I put a team that shouldn't have been in the playoffs, leave your thoughts and remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next one.